Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about not the deep state today, not the deep church that I spoke about on a report from Tiger Mountain the other day, but the sleep state. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about the sleep state tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. All right, the sleep state, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a chat about that. Now, I wanted to um, discuss the way that um, uh, the globalists, the politics of the new left, the cabal and stuff has infiltrated our civilizations. Obviously, there's been a long march across the universities um, that we've seen uh, over the past 30, 40 years since the 1960s, where the ideas of the new left, particularly identity politics of late, has infiltrated our universities and, and made them essentially um, completely hostile to um, right-wing thinking, conservative thought, the new right, um, any ideas, I guess, of the right. You know, If you're to the, to the right of, um, I don't know, Chairman Mao, often um, uh, there's a problem at a lot, a lot of universities at the moment. It's affected our civilization a lot more um, deeply than we know. Obviously, we see these ideas not only in universities but in schools but I think there's an important area that we haven't discussed is um, the way that like science uh, has been affected by this politics deeply so that scientists are in league with these ideas and are pushing scientific ideas that push this narrative and, and also um, bureaucrats and um, this is what I call the sleep state um, you know I mean many of our politicians seem to go along with um, people like Daniel Andrews and Jacinda Ardern, I mean, are they in league with the cabal? It's hard to tell whether they are personally in league. Maybe they are just being advised by people they believe to be giving them good advice, but who are, are perpetuating the ideas of the cabal, of, of the deep state, uh, of the globalists. And so I think the, bureauc the bu in the bureaucracies and the people, even in our Prime Minister's office, in Scott Morris, Scott Morrison um, in Australia, there's a lot of people next to him who are pushing these ideas, these left-wing ideas, um, onto him. And that's why, in, in many cases, it sounds like um, Scott Morrison is a Labour Prime Minister in many ways, um, much the way Malcolm Turnbull was. Uh, now, I mean, are these people deliberately in league with, the, um, with, with what's going on, the, the kind of, you know, internationalist New World Order cabal? We don't know. It's hard to say. I think, though, that the way that it's happening is, is, is through the bureaucracy um, and through the people who advise them, whether they be scientific advisors or they're bureaucrats, the people in their own office, you know what I mean? Um, you know, and I think that the new right has really underestimated the power of these people. Um, the way that these, you know, small L liberal ideas have infiltrated the highest levels of government. And many of our politicians, even if they are conservative, turn to these people for advice and they're being advised incorrectly. And this, I think, explains why you see so many of our politicians behaving in a way that is against the interests um, of our own people, of our own nations, of our own um, culture, and of our own civilization. I think it's a huge problem. I think, you know, really, there needs to be a broom, not only through um, the universities, through the, the ABC in Australia, but through, through I guess, what you call the sleep state, which is the, the bureaucracy that surrounds all our politicians. Because until you see this, um, they continue to um, sort of obey the general narrative of, of, of the cabal, the New World Order, whatever you want to call it, um, you know. And it's a kind of sleep state where, it, where we're all put to sleep. And you see it happening at the moment where economies are being put to sleep with this COVID hysteria and so many things are being put to sleep. Um, and it's a terrible situation. And I just wanted to discuss that uh, and to raise that point and have you all thinking about it. The way that these ideas have infiltrated every level um, of government and media, and, and it's extremely dangerous because now's the time we need to fight for our nations, you know, our cultures and our people people and support, you know, um, the values of our civilization, which uh, are under attack. And they're not being under attack by people who are politically correct or anything like that. They're under attack from the globalists, which is a, um, a conglomerate of, of extremely wealthy and evil um, billionaires and plutocrats and, uh, and, a, and a state like China, who is quite happy to put one or two million um, Muslims in concentration camps and um, and to repress Hong Kong and, and obviously they're after Taiwan next. So it's a terrible situation and um, we've really got to start thinking about it. Otherwise, we're going to end up um, like Hong Kong um, under the power of the Chinese Communist Party and that will be the end of Australia. So it's a terrible situation. Thank you for listening.